Oh, you certainly are. How about Liam? Oh, test your mic. Testing, yeah. testing. One, two, three. Got three. Liam's mic in there. I'm getting that up. Great. Right. Keep talking. Bo, bo, you got bo, 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 I'm talking. Oh, yeah. Mic yeah. testing, live testing. Yeah. Ooh, are you there? I'm here for you. Guess who's in the studio? Whoa. <laughs> Mr. Bob <laughs> Mullins, all the way from Denver, Colorado. <laughs> all the way from Venice Beach, California. I flew out on. Uh, Monday, and um, this is news. I recently relocate, relocated in to, get that a, fixed. to a new place, and it's fantastic. A little guest house and 12 blocks from the water, and uh, there's a lot of weird stuff happening in Venice with <laughs> the homeless thing, but I'm not homeless. <laughs> I have a nice you know, little house there. Rob, you've got This Way is Up. My God, you have just brought the house down with this one. This Way Up. This Way Up. Yeah. Yeah. Did I mess it up? You messed it up again. Again, okay. Three I'm words. mispronouncing everything. You know, it comes on. <coughs> it's the onset of Alzheimer's. You know, we call it Jazzheimer's. <laughs> so you just end up playing the same Duke Ellington tune over and over again <laughs> and thinking that it's brand new. Yeah, it's not. It's, just it's like that one corner in uh, Seattle where uh, they have, you know, a Starbucks on every corner. And they, this is, you know, Henry always leads me down this path. But they take, you know, people with Alzheimer's and stuff, and they take them to the one Starbucks there because it's, a long day if you're a caregiver for Alzheimer's people and they take them to the Starbucks and they have a coffee and uh -huh. they walk out and they look across the street and they say hey there's a Starbucks let's go get a coffee <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> and that'll fill the whole afternoon <laughs> but I don't really like Seattle that much and it's a little too rainy for me yeah and he's from Philly basically right that's why he's smiling you know ah because he doesn't here. have to go to Seattle that's right <laughs> <laughs> okay this album was produced by John Macy and and yourself, you got to tell everybody where all this evolved because, man, everything's in here. Yeah, it's uh, it's a heck of a story. I mean, I should probably start with John Macy and I have been friends for 40 years, and he's a double platinum, multi Grammy winning country music producer that is based out of Denver at Macy Sound Studios. But recently, he collaborated with another guy named Colin. They built this huge complex at Park Hill called Mighty Fine Productions, and it is sweet. That's where we did it. Yeah. And I mean, right. beautiful. They got a big loft up there. You can do a 100-person choir. They've got two grand pianos, three Fender Rhodeses, 20 drum sets. Um, I mean, it was it was really nice. And John and I hadn't seen each other in a long time. He just called him out of the blue one day, and he says, man, you got to come over and see me in the studio. So I went over. We started talking, and it was kind of funny because he's just been doing straight-up country because he's the on-call country guy, like, around the world he plays steel guitar with you know garth brooks and like other people and he just wanted to do one jazz record. he's like well all i get to do is all this can, can i do a jazz record <laughs> uh you know i'll work out a great deal with you on the studio if i can just make the next rob mullins jazz record and i said done deal man we're gonna do this it's all good right it's all good so then all of a sudden i have i have met liam and a couple other people a few months before on one of my trips to denver and I called everybody up and I said, all right, you want to make an album next week? And then you take it from there. And so <laughs> we went into the studio and made an album in one day. Wow. That's right. Short notice, knocked it out of the park. It was a live recording session and we did, um, should I include your nap time in the hours or how long? Yeah, go, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, really. Liam slept 52 part. minutes during the day but they give me a chance to lay the percussion parts down yeah so that was fine and then after that he came back and he sang and you're going to get to hear him sing today this is his international uh live vocal debut but at mighty fine studios they've got all the you know every kind of tool every kind of uh, computer every kind of instrument and john makes the vibe really chill and really easy so although it could be a stressful situation for a lot of people i've done a lot of live albums and jazz guys do more live albums than anybody else, usually because we have less money than anybody else. We'll be able to afford going in for two or three hours, but we got in 12 songs. So we'll just do the whole thing. And this thing, man, the energy level, and the way these young guys like Liam and Andrew Rose and Gabriel Mervine, they just played great, as everybody will hear, you know. And just like he's saying, everybody, but, you know, he always takes himself out of the product line of, oh, who is great? This man. This man. Come on, Rob. Oh, Come thanks, on, guys. Dude, it's free. Rob is Every a singular energetic force. I know. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Judas, free. It's okay, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, Judas <laughs> I love it. No, I'm part of Judas Priest. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Well, you know, Henry, it's it's just kind of a fun thing for me to bring Liam in because I'll tell you just a quick story before we get into all the music stuff. Because we've heard the album enough times. Or if right. I, but, you know, we want people to hear it. But the way Liam and I met was crazy because Dazzle Jazz, where I'm playing on Friday night at 7 o'clock and 9.30, you can get tickets to Dazzle Jazz. Uh, Rob Mullins and friends were playing the whole album live. They had, in 2019, they had these jam sessions, which was just great because all the young players in town, the older guys, everybody gets together at Dazzle. Great stage, and then they would bring people up. So I hadn't been to a Dazzle jam session because I live in LA. So I walk in, there's a seat at the bar, and this guy's sitting in the next seat over. So I order a drink, he's drinking beer. Go, hey man, what's up, hey man, what's up? Oh yeah, my name's Liam. My name's Rob, oh cool. So we're shooting the breeze for a good 15 minutes. The topic of do you play an instrument or it didn't even come up. Wow, you guys just shoot the breeze. No, we just like kind of hit it off, you know, we're just like, oh, this is cool. So then all of a sudden it was our turn on the sit-in list and uh, the host of the jam session. Okay, now coming to the stage is Rob Mullins and Liam Zong. At the same time. At, so oh, then he <laughs> stands up, and I didn't even know his last name. And he didn't even know my last name, but we both were like, What? Oh, oh. oh. All righty <laughs> then. <laughs> so we go up on stage, I sit down at the piano, he sits down at the drums, and I'm like, Oh, he's a drummer. And he's like, Oh, he's Rob's a piano player. And man, from the very first note that we played, it was like, What do you call it? Like two pieces of a puzzle walking? Yeah. Yeah. It was like your first sip of caffeine in the morning. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, and and so we hung out after the gig. We started spending some time uh, playing in his studio because he had a really nice drum set and a keyboard over there. We'd get together and jam and this and that. And, you know, I know a lot of drummers. I went to high school here. I could call probably 60 drummers. Wow. And um, the th reason that I called Liam is he just needed the practice so bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's a charitable man. <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason that I called him is because, you know, you can feel the vibe with a person. Um, in music, we call it the hang. And what that means is you go to an audition. Like, I, I auditioned for Mike Nesmith and the Monkees on a tour, right? <laughs> and I got the gig, but... I couldn't be the hang. Like yeah. the, there was people in there, and they're like, "Oh, this we can't have this guy on a bus for like ten weeks <laughs> sitting. We don't want to smell his uh, <laughs> bo in the morning, and we don't want to listen to him talk." That's the hang part of it. So yeah, it's real. when you, it's, it is real because sort of like when you get married. <laughs> we wouldn't know about that. <laughs> You've been married? I've never been. No, what tell us about that? No, let me tell you about it. Well, it started a long like? time ago. It's going to take a couple hours. That's okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Rob, Rob, you just, you just, you just collapsed uh, me, dude. No, no, you're fine, man. We oh, have, we have fine. sympathy music too, like this. <laughs> that was after you shot her, right? Yes. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, the hang is a really important part of it, and I called him because musically, without having to explain what I wanted on the drums, he automatically knew what to do. So we had the like-minded musicality going, then just getting a hamburger or, um, uh, you know, playing, uh, messing around in a studio or eating at Los Delicios Mexican restaurant. He always mentions that. And <laughs> Los Delicios, you're in yeah, the special it. thanks I on see the that. album. It's on, it's on this paper. It's a special thanks. I've seen that. And don't forget, they have one on uh, Colorado Boulevard by DU and then my favorite one, the original at 19th and Penn in downtown, Las Delicias Mexican restaurant, my favorite. So, we'll, you know, we'll go eat and we'll hang out, but we don't have any arguments. We're not tied up into, like, the Facebook and the Instagram po fighting about politics all the time. And I'm right and you're wrong and what, let's be vigilantes. And we're none of that. We're just having a good time. And I put mama jokes up there, you know? You have the worst mama jokes, but then I try and not laugh. Well, right? let me tell you about that. And I end up laughing every time. KS107 put one, uh, the same thing up there. These jokes are the, horrible. About the mama jokes. Jeez, They're man. horrible. Yeah, I mean, it was so bad that the, the doctor spanked my mama when he, she had me. I mean, come on. That is bad. <laughs> See, now I've got sound See, effects. Got sound <laughs> <laughs> no, you did have a couple of... Yeah, good, uh, there was some good ones. The one there. that I remember was um, was uh, your your uh, 
Uh, yeah, your brother it was a, the family joke. Your your no, oh, your sister was so ugly when she was born that they had to tie pork chops around her neck so the dog would play with her. I'll give you a consolation <laughs> yeah. chuckle on that. Okay. <laughs> okay, so obviously the comedy is at a very low level. It first. is. It we is apologize. Like, but it, it, well, you know, it starts out like this, but it builds. I mean, stay with us because Rob Mullins is in the house talking about his new album, This Way Up. Yes. And he's going to be at Dazzle tomorrow night. Two shows. Seven o'clock. Two shows. Yep. And the incredible Liam Zarm will be there at drums and vocals. And, uh,. This is going to be my first time ever, like at the new Dazzle. Uh, no, but in your studio playing any live. Oh, that's right. Music. I always ask you to do this, and you know, the and you'd always look at me like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to do it. And the reason that I was able to do it today is Liam agreed to carry my stuff. <laughs> uh, like, you know, he comes walking in, and he looked like a, a pack camel. You know, was carrying all his stuff, and dude, he's like, you know, <laughs> he, he's like BB King and Indiana Jones at once. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it going on. He could like go right into Soul Train and then out on Safari at the same time. <laughs> Put that on my online dating profile. <laughs> I see. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah, talk about yeah, online, online dating. dating. Yeah, let's like go a, for it. We like, have a twenty. Tell something. me what kind of uh, ladies do you attract? Uh, digital ones. And they come out and they go, "Hi, you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad reference to the robot. They, they sell. Well, I know, but they sell the uh, blow-up dolls that you can get. You get the blow-up doll that came with it. See, I tell you, I have to reel them in. <laughs> you know, people in his age range probably don't know what those are. But I want to go back to you fill them up with helium and then, then put them Stop. over there. <laughs> oh, and then you then if you, get caught by, if you get caught by your parents to say it's your Let practicing it for Macy's Thanksgiving Day yeah. Parade. <laughs> <laughs> you let it go back up real quick. Nobody's going to notice. No, Liam, really, what's it like to swipe left or swipe right? Like, how does that whole thing work? Is it 20 yeah. something? Uh, you know, Dave, we're kind of behind it. It's, it's uh, pretty easy. <laughs> You They're swipe easy right if you like someone, you swipe left if you don't. And, and then swipe simple. down when you want to have sex, swipe up <laughs> if they pay for it. Uh, <laughs> that might be a, a new idea for a you new know, That's right. That's that my new app. What I would want called the Rob Mullins app. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, lady. No, the bad thing is, is hey, what? Lady. What if you're on there and you, you know, had a few cocktails and this like really person that you don't want and they look really bad and you think that you're swiping like a ten, but you swipe the really not so cool person oh, by accident. Shit. Can you unswipe them? Oh, you're you're swap. No, that's you what I was trying to do. Come on, Rob. How do you, you unswap? How do you? Dude, no. Look at he's even like. And then help no. him out. You know, it yeah. comes with the territory. I'm struggling here. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, yeah, I think you can. See, I think that's a real thing. <laughs> Don't pretend. <laughs> I'm not. We're coming to you for expertise. I, that's like a real thing. <laughs> okay. All right. Live on stage today, we got Mr. Rob Mullins. Swipe right. Yeah. <laughs> swipe right With his new Rob band, Mullins. Swipe Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> Opening act, Swipe Left. <laughs> <laughs> well, Henry, I'll tell you, it's been a few months. It's really good to see you. The, um, you always bring life into our studio. You know, you walk a, in here, you, you say, where's the lady? <laughs> You oh, I said, where's the crazy, crazy astrology lady? Yeah, yeah she's, she's channeling people to go to Mars with Jeff Bezos or what? And she because you know what happened is they put out an online petition for Jeff Bezos when he said he was shooting up in a rocket. And the headline out of the New York Post was, Jeff Bezos riding his own rocket. <laughs> and I was like, you think looking about at that and I'm like, <laughs> wait a minute. And then they actually started. The, he has a lot of haters because yes. you know he has too much money apparently. Yeah. And I didn't know it was uncool to have money, but I guess <laughs> I'm cool because I don't have any money. But anyway, Beza, uh, Bezos. Then they just put out an online thing for signatures. <laughs> they had like two million people signed a thing saying, "Don't come back." <laughs> Did you know that it was like a signatures they were circulating on Facebook? Don't come back. Just stay up there. Hey yeah. Jeff, it's all right. You can stay there. <laughs> you know. You know, it's wild. How do you have so much money? What's the point? Well, I think the point is is that at some point you should realize about charity organizations and charity. You never give to the Rob Mullins charity organization. Well, it's kind of send it to K U A. Go ahead. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> send it to Liam Zom Swipe Right dot com. Um, it's a weird thing because back when I first started making albums, jazz was a much more popular and widespread music, and we had what's called patrons of the arts. And patrons are people that would really appreciate this kind of music because obviously it's not for everybody, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the great ones that I worked with in the 80s and 90s was Betty Weems, who had the Weems estate, and she funded the world's uh, 
um, uh, discussion, what's it, the world discussion thing Something that they have at Boulder <coughs> every year, yeah. and they would bring in a hundred uh, celebrities, and she got me on that thing when I was like 30. <laughs> so I'm hanging out with Roger Ebert from the Times, yeah. Times, and Johnny Mandel, the recomposer, and Dave Grusin, and Don Grusin, and these actors, and she was always saying, you know, art patronage is really important because musician careers go like this. You can be at the very top, something can happen, you can go all the way to the very bottom, and when people help musicians by sponsoring a show, corporate sponsorship is always good, sponsoring an album, sponsoring a tour. These things are really expensive, and I mean, I'm at 40 albums. I've been through all of this stuff. Liam is just getting going, you know, so he's in more of a position now probably to need more money than I do because I've got a lot of uh, people that do help and, you know, contribute um, to the cause. Contribute to the cause, but don't forget, you know, charities, jazz people, jazz musicians, we need as much help as anybody else because you see on there Taylor Swift, uh, oh yeah, 133 billion views <laughs> on YouTube and she made two million dollars. Not everybody is Taylor Swift, folks. That's right. It's like you have this little group of people at the very, very top, and then it drops off a cliff for all of the rest of us. Rob, tell me something. Okay, you've got this big show coming up tomorrow, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've got something really hot planned. I know you do. You, it's, it's Rob. You just uh, don't step into a venue without something in your mind. I mean, you may have it all planned out. Everybody's ready. You, you know, you're rehearsed and stuff. Right. But you have something planned. Everybody. Well, I'm not give us a come on, give us a little. I'm not for gonna, those who want to go to Dazzle. <laughs> Rob's well, going to tell you what a little sneak peek here. I think what we ought to do is we ought to have the first sneak peek just be Liam singing a tune. Okay, so we're going to do that right now. What do you say? Okay. Okay, so right now we're going to feature Rob Mullins on keyboard, the infamous Rob Mullins and Liam on vocals. <coughs> so we're going to start right. Now. to you by KUHS Radio TV in Denver, Colorado. Boom. That's what you're going to have t tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Two shows. Oh, yeah. Ooh, was that smooth. Smooth, baby. Oh, damn. Smooth on the Smoothie Jazz Show right <laughs> here live at KUHS Radio TV, Denver. Man, that's some sweet stuff. But, Rob, we've always known you. On the piano, you've done 40 albums, and you brought... I like the one where you did it for... Um, uh, it was Valentine's Day. You remixed some of the... Songs and oh yeah right right that was so slick and uh, we two of hearts yeah, yes, yeah two of hearts and you throw that up every now and then because that's still available you can also buy that on two of hearts is the latest of my smooth jazz records mm -hmm. but uh, you know I noticed going back and looking through my career I didn't even set out in the beginning 
like, okay, I'm 21. I'm going to make 40 <laughs> albums. All I wanted to do was make sure that after we <coughs> got into the studio, A, that it didn't suck, and that B, that we could afford to make an album cover, maybe get some distribution. We were making uh, vinyl LPs in those days. We weren't even making cassettes. It was all vinyl LPs in 1981. And we used to go to this place called the Campus Lounge right off of Bonnie Brand University. Oh, I remember that place. Yeah, and our meetings would be in the back room of the pool room back there. And the guy that was financing us was in the band. And we didn't realize that he, you know, kind of uh, uh, dealt in illegal substances, shall we say. <laughs> but he was always disappearing and coming back with money and say, okay, we got 200 more for the album fund. <laughs> right? And then one day, we had enough money and we made the albums and we sent off to this place called the pressing plant we got them back to the house and we're all sitting in the living room we opened up the box and it's like dancing through the day rob mo is the first album and then laura uh, newman was sax player just to be an aoa right Northern yeah AOA. yeah she's she's like your top friend on facebook that's right yeah. yeah and and so laura newman is holding she goes well we got the albums now what are we supposed to do <laughs> Market them, and promotion. I, and I thought to myself, you know, that's a very good question. So I said, no, really, it should be we go to a radio station because KADX was the big radio station in those days. There was a DJ there I'm still friends with named Pat McNulty. I know that. You know that name. And I had the album. I called the station. Well, luckily, I had a really cute girl assistant <laughs> named Shelly. I said, Shelly, can you go with me to the station because I'm terrified <laughs> to meet the incredible, famous, you know, Pat McNulty. She's like, okay, that's fine. I'll take it. All right, you, Mr. McNulty, hi. <laughs> that's how in. they do it. <laughs> She's like Vanna White, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, oh, that's in the Rob Mullins. Let me put that on. And boom, he put on the album on the air. And from that moment on, I've never lost my excitement about hearing my music on the air. Because it's an amazing thing. You know, you can be driving down the freeway. It's happened to me in L.A. and Tokyo and Moscow and New York City. And all There's of a sudden, a you're like, oh, that's me. <clears throat> yeah. Right? And I'm, you know, it was Chick Corea, then it was me, then it was Miles Davis, then it was me, then it was Herbie Hancock, and then it's going to be Liam, because he's going to be part of the future of jazz as well as all these other things. And he's Isn't really, this interesting, though, Rob? So you make. Uh, you I'm make so stoked for you, bro. So <laughs> you, make the, uh, you make the response about you're all over in all these cities. Mm -hmm. That was because of syndicated radio stations. Now right. there's a new method. Mm -hmm. And one radio station can syndicate across the world. And th that's right. using platforms, which we do. We've been doing it. Jinx Jones was in here. He had his new album. He went to jazz. Jinx Jones? I mean, come on. But it was cool. He says, man, we were driving down the freeway on the coast there and listening in the car. KUHS out of Denver was my whole album. It's like, wow. It was so cool. It's a whole different uh, ball of wax now. And when Henry talks about platforms, it's not just his shoes he wears in secret at home, <laughs> pretending he's being... Uh, well, I do also no, but I do wear my bell bottoms with it, so it looks cool. You know, I look kind of tall. No, but we did do the Pee Wee Herman theme song, <laughs> Tequila, on this album, and we should start with that. Let's play number eleven. Mrs. Robinson drinks tequila. Let me get the history of this real quick before he hits play. So, Mrs. Robinson was in a movie. It was a movie for you know Henry and I were young when it came out. Did you ever even hear of it? No, no, you didn't even know about it, which, which is fine. I don't want to pollute you. Uh, you know, with all your purity and your swipage. <laughs> I'm swiping. Okay, praise the Lord, he swept. <laughs> and, all right, so anyway, so it was this movie, and Paul Simon wrote this song about it, and it was a great, it was like a, I always heard it as a Latin jazz tune, so I've been playing it for years as a Latin jazz tune. Then in the meantime, Pee Wee Herman came around, and he had the crazy shoes, and he had the little dance to tequila and all that, and that was part of the culture, so what I did is I did a mashup of Mrs. Robinson and the song Tequila, and I call it Mrs. Say it with me. Mrs. Robinson, Robinson drinks tequila. tequila. Can we play it now? Here we go. Oops. This is great music, the way you put this together. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. This one, you know, got to tell you, Rob, what? you outdid yourself on this album. Are the mics live now? No. Okay. Well, 
You know what the pressure excites me? It's just like when you're on a deadline. Yes. You know, the pressure That's what it was. Me. You were, I said, Rob, where's the music? Where's the music? Oh, yeah. I got to launch this on Monday. I know. And, and then everybody's saying, I thought you were going to have it. I, man, I'm telling everybody, it'll be on. It'll be yeah. on. I get it. I get it. Well, you you and I are that way. We thrive under pressure. And I only had a week to put all these charts together and to rehearse and to get it together with the guys. We only practiced one time yeah. for like well, two hours. Well, you know, you have um, seriously seasoned yeah, musicians, yeah. though, around Not you. him. He is, I can tell. He's, he's a, not seasoned. He's a sweet protege. He's That's why you have him next to you. Time. <laughs> time. Uh, <laughs> he does his triple uh, uh, rabbit Rabbit-Q. cues and his paradiddles. He's got his and double his flams. Double fluff on the You would think I knew all about yeah, him. Yeah, I like to. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. He actually his, is a his very good His and his flashes yeah. and his Got all rim that shots thing. and everything. You hey, think me, I knew him. Hand me the CD it. so I hold it up. And the video's still on, right? Yes, video's still on. <laughs> you're, you're dancing like you have platform shoes on. You did wear your platform shoes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> There's the back. <laughs> and there it is, right up behind there you. There it is back there, too. Friday night. Thanks, man. Wow, look at how cool you look on the phone, bro. You know you could just turn this on on your phone and watch it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I think my family has it. You can watch it right here, too. Right? You can watch it right over there. <laughs> Come on, that spot there. It's really cool. Oh, yeah. Listen to you, man. You know, you look more handsome on the on the video than you do in live. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. I thought you said the mics weren't on. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> but the live video. Oh, we always have fun, Rob. First time he came in here, it was so cool. It was like, geez, we had We've a always blast. been having a good we time. We took it into a different area there. I mean, we went to a different dimension just for the first time I it's came in. It's because. Uh, Dr. Elisa was going to shave his face first, and the, and the energy was still within. Right, man. I came to the door, and uh, the the, go, the ghost vapors were just still wafting <laughs> out, you know, into, into the George Norris show. Then he show. walked in, and he said, whoa. I was like, whoa. <laughs> it's Halloween every Thursday at 11. <laughs> I don't really believe in the Halloween thing, man. I think it's a little creepy. I, I don't too. celebrate Halloween. I think it's kind of dumb. It's a little satanic, kind of weird. You know, if you want to have like something where there's people out in your yard with like blood and bones and they're all messed up, just come to the Venice Beach Boardwalk any Friday. You'll see it. It's all happening, dude. We don't even call it Halloween. We call it the weekend. <laughs> Tequila. That's what you have in there, didn't you? He spiked it, didn't you, before? Dude. Because I've got to have my coffee. I have to have my coffee. The coffee's got to be the bomb. <laughs> I promised I, promise I wouldn't say anything. <laughs> you guys are That's really a mean. good musician. You guys are really mean to me. Lay off. Now don't forget. I try really don't hard forget, to forget. Use your heartbeat, dude. If <laughs> <laughs> you're back there. He's drum solo now. Yeah. Now, what kind of drums do you play? I have cheap ones. DW drums. DW good stuff. DW out acrylic drums. Out of Chicago, drum. aren't they out of Chicago? Uh, I'm not sure where they're no. out of Chicago. I'm I know they're sure in they California. Are. Now. They're in California, but that's Tijuana. They're... <laughs> he said that to me with a serious look on his face. <laughs> He's lying about the mics being off. I know they're on. No, they're off. Turn them on and fade the music. Let's talk some more. Okay, let's go. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Here we are, Henry, Liam, and me. Yes. Welcome back to KUHS TV Denver, streaming live all the time, man. This guy, Henry, he's got an oldie show, he's got two jazz shows, he's got like the Outer Space Lady, he's got uh, Ignite with <laughs> Melissa, which is... That's really good. She's so really fired that up. She takes it all over the place. Like yeah. when she does it purposely just to pull in those... Uh, uh, you know, good audience. You know, I was on her good. show and it was awesome. Yeah, she can really change it up sometimes. She'll be this way, that way. Hmm. Where'd you go with that? Yeah, <laughs> I, I like, well, uh, during the break, folks, when you were hearing the music and we were talking, Henry was asking Liam about his drum set and stuff. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, let's talk gearhead for a minute. Oh, talk about the yeah. drum set. DW. DW. Acrylic. Acrylic. See through. See through. So you can see, you know, right through it. You can see right through it. <laughs> <laughs> he goes up on stage without any underwear, no pants, nothing. Yeah, I see, I right see through clothing too. <laughs> <laughs> you see what 
don't have to put up with yeah, this fall. <laughs> I have my you Bible. Slide right. You I have slide my Bible right. right here in my carry-on. Don't make me pull it out and straighten you guys out. May the power of Christ compel you. <laughs> You're at Looney Tunes, man. <laughs> I resemble always, that remark. I'm always having to reel it, man. That, I resemble that remark. But, you know, it's kind, of a, it's kind of a fun thing. I mean, this, and by the way, this isn't really um, a show about religion and stuff like that. But what I want to say about religion and uh, all the religions in the world and everything out there is that I, say it's I, go, I go by the force. So I don't care if you're Buddhist or Christian or communist. That's not a religion, is it? Communism. Uh, I know. No. I know. Sorry. <laughs> See, obviously I have no idea what the <laughs> I'm talking about. But <laughs> if you've got the right feeling and you know that you're making the right decisions, you're doing the right thing, you'll be rewarded uh, you know, in your life. On May earth. the force be with you. May the force be with you. I know it sounds stupid and corny, but there is good stuff out there and there's bad stuff out there. And I don't and know he's why he's got a force with him. Every time he walks in, there's this energy level. Of, and yeah, I know, Rob, Rob, no. <laughs> I go to Los Angeles. And then he gets on the piano and then takes you apart if you're a musician. We gonna play go to, one more? Yeah, sure. I go to Los Angeles and I load up on the beans and then I come right to the studio. <laughs> time it about a half hour later. <laughs> there's no ventilation in here, folks. You figure it out. What are we gonna play now, Rob? You got something in mind? Yeah. You and Lynn are gonna do something slick. Um, what do you want to do? Ain't no sunshine. Ain't no sunshine. Okay. She's gone, and she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away, wonder this time where she's gone. Wonder if she's gone to stay. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone, and she's always gone too long. Anytime she goes away And I know, 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 I know
sunshine when she's gone. Anytime she goes away, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime she goes away, That's Rob Mullins. You're catching tomorrow night two shows at Dazzle. Man, that's so, uh, you know, it's like. And it's it, real. Got, it, it got into me, almost made me want to play the piano. No. no. Let me touch it. <laughs> Let me touch it. You are not allowed to touch the keyboard devices. Let or me touch the, drums. the keyboard. Stay in your own area. Watch, let me let me show Still you. Through microphone. Just let me touch it. Broadcast or Please, swipe Let me touch it. Swipe it right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. You play, you play lower, I'll play up with it. Oh my god. Oh, I have the power of the slider. Well, all of a sudden it got quiet and we're back to the show. Cool, and speaking of the show, what are we going to do tomorrow, <laughs> Liam? We're playing live where? At Dazzle Denver. Yep. Two what time? 7 p.m. to 9.30. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get your tickets online at DazzleJazz.com. That's right. He wouldn't even let me touch his keyboard, but this is a key. we got to tell him about the keyboard. That's what I was going to do. Oh, uh, yeah. This is a um, Key Station 49 ES. They're 99 bucks at Guitar Center. And uh, when Liam's friend, who was going to loan me a keyboard for this week, pooped out, I had to go buy this. <laughs> Thanks, Liam's friend. <laughs> <laughs> but it's plugged into a um, Macintosh MacBook Pro running Logic Pro X. And I'm using the default uh, patch, the Fender Rhodes patch, out of that. Running into a borrowed uh, USB MIDI transmitted speaker system borrowed from Joe Andrews' basement. <laughs> and that's directly behind me. That's, sure? that's that, really. Yeah, no. Yo, yo. That's nice. That's, that's cool. it. It's from like Washington Park, so there's like little Girl Scout cookies, flyers in there and stuff, and then a little bag <laughs> is tied to like the, Jesus. Yeah, there's a little bag, <laughs> green bag, tied to the side says, you know, pick up after your dog. It's just like that. <laughs> that's okay. so damn funny. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you know, you're all right, Rob. I don't care what they've been saying about you. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. <laughs> know. You know. They say all kinds of cool things. It's Rob Mullins, 40 albums deep into his, his uh, music career, and he's uh, a product of KUHS now. Right, like, and the Denver Public Schools. Oh, yeah, Denver. Oh, that's where you first started, with the jazz ensemble from way At back Lincoln. when. Abraham Lincoln High School, <laughs> Federal and Evans. I'll never forget that. You made that band popular, single-handedly. You may say not, but that's all I ever heard. You gotta go see the band. There's this keyboard player in there. Ah. Everybody pointed to you. Well, and then I ran away because I didn't. <laughs> but um, Henry, let's talk about uh, maybe some more cuts off the album. Do you want to play uh, Take yes. Five or Tip to, uh, Chameleon? That's let's a good play one. Chameleon. Let's play Chameleon. I like Chameleon. So the album, folks, it's more like the party stuff that I've done in my club shows all these years or a festival. This is dance, it's stand-up and dance music. It's high energy. The live show tomorrow will be even <coughs> higher energy. And my philosophy about instrumental music has always been, yeah, it can be serious. Yeah, you can have a story to tell, but it should also be fun. And you should go through life with a sense of humor. You shouldn't be depressed all the time talking about how sad everything is. Even the L.A. Times. But you know, it's been just... Well, not, for Henry, on the other hand, his life is really <laughs> sad. So, you know, it's <laughs> out, you know. As soon as the cameras go off, it's like tissues. Uh, it is, we call it a shrink. We got the spiritual lady outside. There's paramedics. It's been like, hang in. <laughs> Nothing's going on. I swiped left, and she's still in my house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was trying to get her out. She wanted to have sex all night long. I did, and then she wanted to have sex all morning long. That's what happens. And then all day long. Well, and then... Then uh, she wanted me to make her breakfast. Well, I'm actually a really good breakfast cook. After yeah. sex or before sex? Any, to, any morning. <laughs> I don't need... I, I, I can go sex. with or without sex. <laughs> that's a big fat lie. I need lie. breakfast. You should just hear... Don't believe that's a big fat lie. Say that again. I said I have my Bible right and here. And you right can here. go without I sex. I can go without sex before I can this go without This is his girlfriend. Food. Show us your girlfriend. You know, I, <laughs> this is a funny story that local people will recognize, is that... Um, Sorry, Rob. That's okay, okay. Hold on. No, this is funny. So, I had a bass player named Marty Reddy, and Marty was... 
just always cracking crazy jokes. And we were at the Regas Cafe. Older people will remember uh, Evans and Colorado Boulevard. I was there five years, five nights a week in the Jeez. 80s. So we made lots of friends and stuff. And we would go through these periods where, you know, we couldn't really get the girls to talk to us, whatever. And then I said, Marty, how's the dating going? And one night he, like, pulls out his wallet and he says, I'm so lonely, I'm carrying around a picture of my hand. <laughs> yeah, this, oh, don't touch us. Uh, don't. I was gonna say, don't touch us. Uh, can't touch us. Can't touch us. <laughs> well, and guys, if you want to call in and talk to us live on air, Henry actually has a working phone. <laughs> so, what's the number? It's um, right there. Well, I've been getting a bunch of calls and texts this morning myself. Let's see what's up. Ba 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 ba. Oh no! They, somebody wants to sell me something on text message. <laughs> God. Hey Liam. Yo. Do you like the world of the cell phone and all that? Is, do you find it more helpful? Because to me, it's just become annoying. Like I, if I could get by without a cell phone, I would. I like it. Yeah, I like to turn it off for long periods of time. You do? Yeah. And then you know you feel okay. During the pandemic, a lot of people had their phones off for a long time. Um, because you knew that if you got called for a gig, the club was going to be closed, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or you'd have somebody just call you, pretend like they were calling you for a gig? Well, you know... You hey, Rob, I got a big gig here. It's a 4,000 people concert event. Ways out. Remember that? Oh, uh, yeah. Ways out. Ways out. <laughs> yeah, well, a lot of my friends that are with the big-time touring stuff, man, they just got fatigue. They got postponement fatigue is what they got, you guys. It was like... Uh, Stan Barron's with War. Yeah, man, we're, they pushed the April concerts. Uh, no, and then uh, no, September, that got moved, and now we're going to back it all up. Same thing with Jimmy Roberts oh, and Rod Stewart. Yes, all of them. And they just said, no, we have Santana, to push. Santana, Earth, Wind. Santana, uh, you know, we got to push it back a little bit. And then after a while, you're like, okay, you pushed it all the way back into, you know, 2022. There's yeah. no work there. Yeah. So it gets a little nutty. Let's play some more music. Okay, I'm ready for commercials. More music. Commercials. Oh, I love commercials. They pay for everything. Oh, yeah. So you're going you're gonna to fire up with Chameleon this Friday night, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're doing it, man. Now, what you got to tell us, what piano are you playing on over there? They have a, uh, like a nine-foot Yamaha Grand at Dazzle. They Jeez. have four grand pianos. Jesus. At Dazzle, that's really nice. What's the brand name? Oh, they got a few. They got a Baldwin, a couple Yamahas. Which is your favorite over there? Uh, the one that's on the stage that I'm on. <laughs> Keep it up, Rob. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to get to your website to see how the stream's going. It's usually down. The stream is down. If I go down a little bit. Is it live on video, yes, too? live on video. Keep going down. Keep going down. There we are. Yes, there we are. There's two sides. That's uh, Twitter. Oh, nice. That's us. It's us, baby. Look at us. Look at that. We look good. We look good. <laughs> then on the other side, if you keep going down, you catch the uh, Facebook one. It doesn't go any further. You got to get out of there. That's okay. Not happening. <laughs> All right. I'm going to step out just for a second. He just, uh, the reason he's stepping out, he was telling the truth about, he goes over and eats Mexican food, gets the beans in him. Woo, mama. <laughs> we'll talk to you, Lim. He didn't want to talk to us. He just stepped out on it. It's like walking out, walking off stage. You know, it's like, it's wild. What do you think? About Rob walking Rob out. Rob walking out. I think everybody needs a break sometimes. I got you on that one. Rob Mullins, don't forget, tomorrow night, Dazzle. That's going to be really spectacular. You want to check that show out. He's going to be on the show. I'll be on drums. I'll be singing a couple songs. I'll be hanging out afterward. I'll be there before. And all you uh, single ladies, he is handing out kisses. <laughs> you can come up kisses to wow. each purchase of the CD. <laughs> That's a good idea. You can say that on stage. You get a kiss with the purchase of a CD, and not from Rob, from Lim. <laughs> yeah, from, 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 from someone who has protected lips. Oh, no. You're uh, registered and insured, right? I don't have a lip card. I don't have a <laughs> COVID lip card yet. But I'm sure he's got one. Yeah, I got my lips 
was vaccinated. That's nice, man. Now say that again. I said I got my lips vaccinated. He got his lips vaccinated. How did you get him vaccinated? Mics are on. I got it. No. Oh. <laughs> I got a shot. But we're live. <laughs> I know. Mean, I know. This is bad. <laughs> I got a you know COVID shot in both my lips. <laughs> See. <laughs> Yeah, so he gets lip locks, you know. So don't forget, you buy a CD Friday night, you get a kiss from Lim. Not Rob Lim. Yeah. I don't want to scare you off. As long as your lips are <laughs> Sorry. I had to go there, man. Look what you were doing to me. Hey. Rob, I mean, come on. You calm down over there, swipe lefter. <laughs> you lefty. You. You swipe left. You know, uh, what's that uh, app called that you swipe left and right? Is it Tinder? Tinder. Tinder. Yeah, you, but there's you gotta be ones. real Tinder. There's about other it. ones too. There's like Bumble. Bumble. What does Bumble do? That's the girls have to message first. Oh, uh, the girls message then first. Bumblebees. And then it's Bumblebees. Yeah. And then, oh, I know then why they, they, they get they, because pull out they, their stinger. Yeah, they pull bam. out their stinger. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's over. It's over. That's the Black Widow app, Bumble Man. Okay, yeah, what other ones idea, are there? The Black I don't, Widow app. I, this one called Hinge I know about. I think it's like serious. People trying to like find a wife or a husband. Uh, we have to start one called I don't know. I don't, I don't use them. I don't you don't have to. No. You just have I, nothing but cougars on he's there. He's too young and handsome. He doesn't use apps. All he has to do is like That's walk what I'm out of the me. house. Hey, babe. Stand on the corner. Six following him. Look like Fred Astaire and Indiana Jones at once. <laughs> you know, that's what he does. <laughs> that's what he does right up on stage. Cheers, everybody. Happy Thursday afternoon. Good to see y'all. Very cool. <laughs> I work out for a reason, though. <laughs> <laughs> I look. <laughs> That's what I look like in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Rob Bowen's Chameleon. You're going to hear it tomorrow night. Make sure and go to the Jazz Dazzle. Jazz Club. Jazzle. Yeah, that's a great idea. Huh? The Jazzle Jazz Club. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play one more? You want to do one more before we call it a, uh, an hour? No. Okay, sorry. I mean, why do you get all, like, upset? Gotta Take save, your time. Tell me how you feel. I got to save something for the gig. Once again, tomorrow night, Dazzle. It's uh, 15th and Curtis in downtown Denver. Yes. There's uh, three levels of tickets, VIP. There's, like, four of those left. There's a 35. Um, general seating is... 20, 20. <laughs> and then the seats in the back for you cheapskates out there are only 10 bucks so don't be hitting me up on my facebook oh i can't afford it it's 10 bucks and they're man. all great great seats they're all good seats and you can also walk around and <coughs> we'll have my cd where's my cd we'll have my cd on sale for 20 bucks and if and you buy uh, one you get a kiss from them and, and an autograph as well so um and i have a few copies of storyteller nearness of you only in venice some of the other things, we'll have a little table set up off to the side. Uh, also in the band, Joe Andres on soprano sax and flute, Gabriel Mervin on trumpet and flugelhorn. And I had never worked with Gabriel before, right? Because Joe Andres knows all the guys here. And um, the original guy we called pooped out and had an attitude, we're like, bypass, give me something else. And he goes, try Gabriel Mervin. I said, oh, I don't think I know him. He says, dude. He's a trumpet player named Gabriel. How are you going to go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> right? So <laughs> it's him and Gonzalo Tepa on basses. Uh, five piece band. We got a lot of surprises. I'm going to have a lot of friends there. A lot of people are flying from all over the country. Uh, and, you know, 40 years, 40 albums. If you've been part of my life, thank you so much for helping me uh, even be here at all to make this much music for the world. Um, I've had a great time. It's been a lot of fun. I'll be telling stories about various moments uh, uh, of my career. Whatever you do, don't bring up the, the studio, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and i um, looking forward to seeing so many friends all the way back to high school uh, in person, new friends, older friends. And please, folks, uh, remember there will be a digital release of this in August on Apple and Spotify and everywhere else. And I'll hope that you'll... Uh, you know, even if you're in Henry senior citizen uh, age range, we know that you have grandkids. We know you have nieces, nephews, and children. Share this music with them too. But it's a generational thing that you pass down. But just like you said, the senior citizen thing. But <clears throat> I'm at a high level of high energy with high level of high tech. 
dude, I've never seen wheelchairs go faster, bro. That's right. <laughs> It's unbelievable. He's out in the park. The guy's got donuts and it's, going on. And it's digital. It's a digital donut wheelchair by Hasbro. That's right. It's you know? nice. You should see it. Pretty Except good. Ron, Rob was trying to let me, you know, let me ride that. Let me ride that. No, dude. No, well, when you come to Venice, you don't get on my skateboard. <laughs> so well, that skateboard was electric, man. You were yeah, like, what that's, the hell? That's true. Battery operated. Well, when, they came up, when they came up with these bird scooters and stuff, man, I was thinking, oh, now it's... You'll now see you have the height, of, That's you're the height of this generation of people. It's like, well, I want to go on a scooter, but I don't want to really pedal or anything. Cause <laughs> I'm on my phone, and like, <laughs> you know, Megan's texting me right now, so I do that. I need like get there. You know? <laughs> I think those scooters are lame, man. Wow. I I give them the right away. I let them <laughs> I let them be on the road and everything, and I'm courteous about it. But I'm not down with the scooters at all. Harley's yes. Scooters no. Scooters no. Oh. Anyway. What's, what's a Harley? Uh, it's part of a Davidson. Oh, I know those people. Yeah, you know those people. <laughs> hey, man, thanks so much for having oh, me on Oh, this again, is bro. real. I always have fun. We really had a great time. And thanks it, for it's listening, all, uh, everybody. <clears throat> up-tempo with Rob, always, all the time to have him here at the studio. He always brings the best. He's always high energy. He is an um, awesome keyboard you want to go see at Dazzle. I mean, awesome. Everybody who tells me they go and see Rob live. I mean, here he just gave you a little taste of it. You heard how fine that was. Go see them at Dazzle, right? Two shows, 7 and 9.30. Yep. Remember, get, they're going to sell out, and you know everybody loves Rob Mullen. Thanks, any last, man. Any last uh, messages to anybody? Yeah, yeah, my slogan going into this year, <coughs> Oh, but also I want to thank Liam Broski yes. for coming in. Yeah, bro, Liam's bro. international debut, uh, live TV singing. I'm so glad I talked him into being a singer because he was just mostly in the shower before I bothered him. To do it. Um, Doing what in the show? Still mostly in the show. Yeah. <laughs> but my slogan going out <laughs> for this part of my life is this. And I thought a lot about it before I came up with this. And I did have help from a very old friend. And I didn't tell her that, I, that she was helping me. And I thought about it. My slogan is 40 years, 40 albums, no regrets. That's it. I had a great time. It's just been fun. I'm always looking forward, not looking back. Please come celebrate with me on Friday night. This uh, Rob, you're going to make me cry. Well, you know, we cry. You know, I have feelings. We cry what when Liam fuck, plays the clarinet. <laughs> He's a horrible clarinet He was player. watching me cry. <laughs> I was going to say, it was real. It was good. It, it was, good. was good. It was good for the, the screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, let's do, uh, let's do. Uh, are we going to end with this? Uh, yeah, what are we going to end with? Ooh la la, the Casa Bonita song. <laughs> <laughs> now, when I, I wrote this story about Casa Bonita this morning. I wrote this song for Casa Bonita because it's just that cheesy. <laughs> and I was sad to see that they were, and also Janet Poth at uh, LaCour, because I wrote it Ooh, when I was at LaCour, uh, at that little jazz club that sadly closed. Um, but this is just kind of a campy Calypso thing. It's all about the fun. It has, uh, you know... It would have been perfect for Casa Bonita's TV commercials with yes. the divers yes. and everything. Mm -hmm. So let's roll out with Ula La and thanks everybody. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Ooh la la. Thanks for joining us. We'll see y'all later. Rob Mullins in the house. You take it easy. You'll be at J Dazzle tomorrow uh, doing his thing. So you see y'all later. Thanks, Rob. Yeah.